possibilities are endless. Um, it could be a masterpiece. It could be a uh, real crash. And often there's a very high possibility of that. So it's a risk. I really feel there's no place like home. I love the coast and I try and capture that coast somehow in my artworks. So that's what makes me tick, I guess. I never get complacent by what I see. I never take for granted a day of my life, where I'm at. So for me, it, it, it's not hard to try and be inspired. First asked to do the project uh, by Bill Lowe, uh, we, we ended up getting together, talking about possibilities, what could happen. I could see these big, giant concrete columns and this broad curvature that was one day going to be the wall. So with that, I started to, to dream and visualise what the possibilities could be. Something about the water that really encaptures who you are and where you're at and you can just lose yourself just dreaming right into the ocean. So the artwork's not just straight, it's also curved. You know, if it wasn't big enough just to do this ridiculous long, skinny long artwork, but to bend it around as well. So I had to get paints that have flexible qualities using these gigantic 300 mil tubes where you put them straight into the corking gun, get it up and just squeeze the whole thing out. So I ended up getting this table and using it for my palette. It was sort of mountain climbing, just digging into it and slapping paint on. It, it, was, a, it was a fun process. <laughs> so to do it all painting on the scale, where there's not only just one painting, but three paintings collectively, when they're joined up to being over 25 metres long, there's a strong possibility it's one of Australia's largest oil paintings, which blew me away. So getting the works here was, was a monumental day. The nine metre painting particularly was a bit tricky to transport because of the weight, the size of it. And even though we had a fair few workers that were holding it, I couldn't help myself. I had to grab the middle of the artwork myself. I, I put everything into what I do, including transporting or lifting or making sure it gets there safely. And if worse comes to worse, I brought my palette of paints with me as well <laughs> to touch up and fix up. So it, it all went smoothly in the end. I was pleased with it, even though there's a few little hiccups. In the end we got there and I was uh, very relieved. So signing off is an important process. Uh, to me it, it finishes the end of an era and is now the beginning of the Performing Arts Centre. If people enjoy it, if they get something out of it, if they can look into it and see the glass of water's half full, see that we're really blessed to live here in such a majestic, beautiful place, uh, I think that's a good thing. Any encouragement I can give to people is, is believe in yourself. Uh, everyone's got a God-given gift, it comes from within, so use your gift and um, you know, keep going. Uh, brush mileage. The more you do, the better you'll become. And uh, you know, if you think, if you're not satisfied with what you do, that's a good sign, because there's always a higher goal to achieve, and that's a good place to be.